Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm former Major League Baseball player Jermaine Curtis and I was scanning through YouTube and I was seeing baseball hitting clips and something went off in my head. I said, wouldn't it be cool to see Barry Bonds and what he did when he, you know, was hitting BP because you can learn a lot just from you know watching bp and as i started scouring the internet i could only find a few clips because barry bonds batting practice videos are like seeing bigfoot or something like that they're literally rarer than anything but i found a few and i'm gonna piece a few of those together but i also have clips from a rod clips from carlos beltran because these are players that were at the school of barry bonds they worked with him and the reason i know that is because i worked with barry as well and i played with the st louis cardinals when carlos beltran was there and he was my locker mate so we talked a lot about hitting and talked about things that barry bonds and i um, would talk about as well and what he talked about with barry bonds so it was very, very informative and it's something that I want to share. So we're going to jump right into that right now. So the first thing you'll see is what I call no pivot. And basically what no pivot is, it's where you don't use your lower half. You just take the bat to the ball. And what this allows you to do is it allows you to bring the ball to you. And that was something that Barry said, you want to basically bring the ball to you. And here's another thing that he also said. And if you look at his bat angle, you'll see it. It's like from hand to hip and that's the shortest route to getting to an inside pitch or shortest route to the ball now you know people say hey you know he's not doing that when he regularly swings or when he's in a game but this was something that he would relay to me as far as getting to the baseball the quickest way of getting there and this is why when they were throwing inside pitches that were off the plate by two or three inches he was hitting them the reason why he was barreling those pitches especially inside was because he wasn't making any unnecessary movements so that's what we have here so when you see this drill the first thing you're going to see is him doing a no pivot and this is his first round and you'll see that no pivot is to bring the ball back and what you want to do is hit line drives over the opposite uh players head so what i mean is if you're a left-handed hitter you want to hit it to shortstop and if you're a right-handed hitter you want to hit a line drive over the second base head now what that's going to do is bring that point of contact back okay the other thing it does is it takes all the unnecessary movements out of your swing because you're not creating a uh, loopy swing or you know things like that so that was what he was mentioning to me and if you guys don't like this don't hate me this is the messenger telling you guys what he was saying to me so that was what he was sharing to me and that's what you will see right here and it's it's hand to hip so your body stays square and you take your hand to your hip and you can see it when he does his swing hand hip see as the ball's getting deeper and you see how he's using his hands and how he's so direct to the ball and everything's very short that's what we want as a hitter because the higher you go up guys are going to be throwing harder and if you have a swing where you can't duplicate it you can't repeat it it's going to be hard to be successful so as you can see he's basically warming his body up but at the same time he's working on a few things letting the ball get deep so he's staying uh, square so he's not opening up and trying to turn and burn and drive baseballs out like first round he's letting the ball get there and he's letting his hands work then you know as the bats go on and on then you'll see him start pushing the ball out front more out front and then start driving it 
but when I would talk to him and he would say, for example, when I was hitting with him, I hit a ball over the left center fence and I drove this ball and you know me, I'm feeling good, you know? And he said, that would impress me if you were doing it over the right center fence. And he said, it's easy to pull a ball over your pull side, you know, fence. And he was right about that. He was right. But for him, what he wanted was to let the ball get deep and drive it to the opposite field. And if you can do that with the right spin, which is backspin, then you're going to be able to, you know, do that. And if you use this way of hitting, which I did as well, you will start to create that backspin. Now, this is not for everybody. You know, some people are going to disagree. This is not what you do, blah, blah, blah. Again, this is batting practice and this is the feels for the game. When the game time comes, it's it's compete, man. It's compete. You know, your mechanics are only going to get you so far, at least thinking about them when you're in that batter's box. So when it comes to game time, it's ready to go. But right now he's getting his feels for the the game so the next video clip is of him hitting um it's when he was a coach and i guess he was you know talking crap to a player and trying to teach him and then player says go out there and hit and so he jumps in and he starts hitting but this is kind of like the last round as you can see from this angle it's not a good angle as far as the swing but you can see his point of contact and going off the point what i was saying before about driving it to right center now if it's you know let's say it's the third round of your bp okay now you're starting to push the ball a little bit farther out front and you're going to try to drive it a little bit more he told me to drive it to my pull side gap now don't think about hitting it over the fence to my pull side so for me i was a right handed hitter and he would say backspin it to left center. If you got that swing where your your ball's backspinning to you know your pull side gap, then it's going to be a great year or you're right where you need to be because that's the right swing where you're pretty much low here on your opposite side and you're high on your pull side. And what I mean is if you look at Mookie Betts, for the most part, Mookie Betts is low on his opposite field side, though now he's learning how to drive the ball to right center for homers but he's usually low he's hitting the ball low line drives or uh, ground balls to the opposite field side but then when it comes to pull side he's high so his balls are in the air at you know 20 degree launch angle and he's driving the baseball so you want to be low high and before i was high low so what I was high, I can drive the ball to right field and I was getting the ball in the air to right field. But when I would pull that, I would top spin it or I would hit a low line drive. So that's something that, you know, um, if you're trying to hit for more power, check for that. I know people don't say that a lot and it may be a little bit confusing to you. And if it is confusing to you, comment below and I'll answer your question on like what you may have. But you want to be in my opinion you want to be low to high so low to your opposite field and high to your pull side um gap okay see how the point of contact is out front right now so look it, you can see his bat head is going out not his body his bat head got out so and you see he hit a home run that's why everybody's clapping right now so I know it's a short clip, but I wanted to show you like his first round and, you know, what he did in his last round, how he pushed the ball out front and look at the swing path. It was like short and direct to the baseball and that allowed him to hit so consistently. It was very short and very consistent. So, you know, that's what I want you to see. So now we're going to go to guys that is of the school of Barry Bonds and we have Gary Sheffield and we have you know older video because it's been a while but look at his BP and like look at his bat path see that bat path direct to the ball I'm gonna turn the volume down a little bit okay so look at how he's 
Look how he moves. Look how his top hand goes to the ball. Look how direct he is and how high he gets it out front or how he gets it out front, I should say. Yeah, look how we got that out front. You see how he used that top hand and gets it out? That's nice right there. Ooh, that was a bomb. But he's pulling the ball the right way, which is getting the bat head out, not trying to pull it where your front shoulder opens up. And I think that's the misconception as hitters uh, when players say turn and burn. You know, I used to think that when I would, even if I did front toss or flip to myself and try to hit it over the fence, I would, first thing I would do is that front shoulder just fly open and, you know, I'll top spin a ball or I won't hit it as hard as I could. But if you look at what Barry Bonds did and how he got the bat head out front, and if you look at Gary Sheffield, they both got the bat head out front. They let their hands get out front and to hit the ball. And if you look at Mookie, Mookie let his hands get out front to hit it, and that's how he drives the baseball. So old school mentality, I understand, because the way that they hit was not here this is like the 90s type hitters but let's go way before that let's go to the 70s and 80s where they said you know take the head down to it and hit it out front if you think about that that's kind of just you know saying get the barrel of the head out front like down to it if you're gonna go down to it and you get it out front, it's like using your top hand and hitting it out front, not using your body. And sometimes, you know, I didn't understand that. You know, I didn't understand that at all when I when old when older players would tell me that. But now I start to see it. Now I understand. Okay, I understand what they're trying to tell me. So let's continue with Gary Sheffield and I'll show you share with you a story of Gary Sheffield and Barry. Look how he got, look how he's getting the ball out front right now. He's hitting it in front of the plate, in front of the plate, top hand to it and through it. Look at that. Look how direct he is with this top hand. Ooh. <laughs> yeah you see how his hands is working and not his body trying to kill the ball it's like his hands are getting there and it looks easy it looks it looks effortless it's it looks easy it's just he's letting his hands get there letting his hands get it out front what i noticed when i was playing was can I see my top hand and can I see the ball hit the barrel? If you can't see your top hand and the ball hit the barrel, the ball's too deep. And if you look at balls that you miss hit or if you foul off, I guarantee you, you can't see the barrel hit the ball or the ball hit the barrel, you will not see it. But the balls that you square up, you can see your top hand and you can see the barrel hit the ball. So if you're a player out there, be aware of that. When you're taking BP, ask yourself every swing. That's what I do with my young hitters. I tell them, did you see it hit the barrel? And they'll be like, no. And you can see it. they'll hit a flare over to the right side or they'll bloop it up, you know, hit a blooper. But I'm like, when they square the ball up, they can see everything. They can see their top hand and they can see the barrel of the bat hit the ball so that's something that you know just to check for yourself you know let's keep it going i'm gonna go with carlos beltran um but before i do that little quick barry bond story i remember uh barry and gary sheffield used to work out together and gary used to be like coming to the workout sessions like really late and Barry used to be so upset that he comes out. He goes, I'm trying to give you all the knowledge, but you ain't trying to be here. And uh, it's just funny hearing Gary and Barry go at it 
and uh it, it was just it's cool man it was really cool but i have so much respect for both of these guys and how hard they work they created a system to get better they didn't just work out like most people work out like if you're a young kid right now if i told you to go work out for the most part you're probably going to go you're going to take a few swings off the tee and maybe do some flips maybe some bp filled a few ground balls and call it a day so you're done in an hour they had a whole system in place and this would change me as far as how to work out and maybe i'll do a video about it if you're interested so comment below and i'll explain to you like the new way after i seen what they did and a rod and how they went about their process and then how i decided to go about my process and it's different now it was like it was a, it's a different craft it was a whole system it was like going to work but you enjoyed your work you know what i mean so let's keep it going so here we got um carlos beltran i played with him and uh he got some beautiful swing right handed Whew. look at this swing look how he gets it out front smooth slow everything simple and relaxed and then hands just get out there boom I think we should see his left-handed swing. That would be better. Let's go and see his left-handed swing. The display today, I watched so look how, you see how he like gets the barrel out front? You see how his hands like hands to hip? It looks like similar to what Barry Bonds was doing. Let me put this down. This guy talking too much. Okay. You see how when he was swinging, it was like, hands to hip it was similar to what barry bonds was doing barry bonds if you look at this first few swings and how the angle is it's basically similar to him i'll let you see it again let me get this advertisement out of here hands to hip get it out front one more time hands to hip get it out front hands back to hip boom but yeah so there you go you have like carlos beltran you have gary sheffield and i was going to bring alex rodriguez on but this is getting a little long this video so um i'm going to i'm going to cut it off now but i just wanted to show you you know the school of barry and what he shared and you can see all these guys doing it in their swings they all have similar swings direct to the ball top hand to it and through it and uh, a rod same way and so yeah i think you can learn a lot from bps um, i wish mlb would show that more often because you can get to see what the player is trying to do and um, I wish there was more BP from Barry Bonds back when he played, but you know, he was a person too that wouldn't allow them to put that on the internet. <laughs> so, you know, it's like I said, it's like, it's like seeing Bigfoot. You might be able to see it once, but not anybody else will see it. You know, he's always been private about all his information. So I think, uh, you know, I enjoyed making this short video. I hope you enjoyed it as well. Comment below. Let me know if you learned something, which was your biggest takeaway from this video. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you guys so much.